Penguins forward Zach Aston Reese took a vicious hit to the head at the hands of Capitals forward Tom Wilson in last night's playoff game. Aston Reese remained down on the ice and bleeding before he was able to skate off. He did not return to action. Well, today, Wilson is now facing a hearing before the NHL Department of Player Safety. Aston Reese suffered a concussion and a broken jaw, which will require surgery. Rick Dayton joins us now with more on the hit and what action could be taken against Wilson. Rick. Big thing for Penns fans, it's the second time that he's been involved in a controversial hit, second time in as many games in this series that has drawn the ire of Penguins fans. In game two, he hit defenseman Brian Dumoulin last night. Game three, knocking. Reese knocked him out of the game. No penalty called on either shot. The Caps went on to win both games. They now hold a 2-1 series lead. A little before 9.30 this morning, however, the National Hockey League issued this. This is from the Department of Player Safety, a one-sentence statement. On Twitter, it simply reads, Washington's Tom Wilson will have a hearing today for an illegal check to the head on Pittsburgh's Zach Aston Reese, end quote. Now that illegal check is significant because the hit happened in front of the Caps bench. Second period action last night, the collision so fierce. Aston Reese went down, he was bleeding. Wilson wound up going over the boards into the bench area from the collision. After a brief meeting on the ice, the official signed, but there was no penalty and nothing was called for that hit to the head. We would hope that, you know, the league might do and, uh, but as far as we're concerned, all we can, can all we can do is control what's within our power, and that's our focus on the game. So that's where that's where our focus will be. That next game will be tomorrow, but the hearing is today. Important to point out that Wilson has been suspended for two games during the preseason, then missed the first four games of the regular season for a boarding call that happened in another preseason game. So two suspensions already this year. The question is. What happens with this postseason decision? Any action that the Department of Player Safety takes, of course, we will bring it to you on KDK.com or during our afternoon and evening newscasts.